controlling vibration, okay? You want to learn this subject, right? Now, if I'm holding a pen, okay? If I know how to feel the vibration, any time you come in and hit my pen, I know how to boom, I can know how to lock it. If I don't know how the vibration is, then when you hit the pen, boom, my pen go up. Because I cannot control it. In order to control everything, you got to know how to feel it first. Okay, if you don't feel it, you cannot control it. This is what Wing Chun is about. You learn Wing Chun is to learn how to feel all different subjects. If you know it, then you can control it. If you don't know it, and you cannot feel it, you cannot control it. That's why the stick in hand is one thing. You develop how to feel people's vibration. But how you feel people's vibration, you have to know your own vibration. If you don't know your own vibration, you don't feel people's vibration. Because you, nothing merge. Okay? That's why in the form ceiling tower, you got to know how to feel the vibration. It's called touch without touching. Okay? When you do the form like this, Okay, see the finger, you see a gap, very touching. I, then you can feel your vibration. If you feel the vibration, you feel, it makes well, the whole structure so relaxed. But the universal principle, the vibration is there. You cannot stop it. That is a law. You cannot change that. That always vibrate. Okay, the, the vibration always there. You cannot stop the vibration. But you can change your vibration either more or less. It's up to you. They call man make law. There's two ways. Universal principle cannot be changed. That's it, it's fixed. But man make law, you can change. You can make adjustment. That means you have a steady mind. No one can talk you out of it. That is my control. Okay, that's very important. If you study Wing Chun, you don't have that mind control in the beginning. Everybody easy to talk you out to learn some other style, not Wing Chun. Then you never be able to success in anything. Because you have no steady mind. The steady mind based on your patience. If I have no patience, I have no steady mind control. Everything based on patience. I think I talked about patience before, then, right? Yeah. If you have no patience, you won't be able to dissolve all the conflict in your mind. Because you have a lot of fancy thought. People tell you this, tell you that. Okay? If you have no steady mind control, it's easy to pull you out. And then that means you have no patience to hold your own idea. That's why you lose it. Okay? Just think about it. If I want to go up to the mountain from here, this side, go to the mountain. If the guy tells me, oh, that, that road is so difficult, let's go the other road. If then you go down to the, from the mountain, go down another way, come this way. Halfway up, you say, oh, so difficult, I go to find another way. You go down and find another way. And then it's so difficult, you go and I find another way to go up the mountain top, hang up, you never get to the top. Because all the road is difficult. If there's no such thing as easy way. In Wing Chun practice, it's called, you get to earn with your skill. Earning is more difficult. Nothing comes easy. You want to make money, you have to go to work. Get up 6 o'clock in the morning, get out at 5 o'clock at night. You have no time to enjoy yourself. That's called earning money. Wing Chun is the same thing. I want a good Wing Chun, I have to self-discipline myself, I got to do it, I got to do it, I got to do it. That's called learning a skill. If you, one door you go in, you find difficulty, you try to get away from the other door, you lose a chance. Because take, maybe take two months, you go up to the, meet the difficulty on that road, up to the mountain top, then you say, ah, oh, too, too hard to do it, then you find another way, you go down and go, go another way, you're wasting two months already. But if you meet any difficulty, you say, I have to do it, then you go through it. Then you solve the problem, you keep going. If there another difficulty come in, you solve the problem, keep going. That's called dedication of your mind. 
Sooner or later, you will success. Go up to the top of the mountain. That's what Wing Chun teach you. How strong you can do. How to develop this based on mental development in Wing Chun. But you cannot say, oh, I just detach all the ego. You cannot let go all the ego. Because if you let go one, the other come in. You let go the other one, and another come in. Okay, they never can empty it. The only thing, I just control it. Just like I have my hand full of things. I keep the hand full, I control it. Then I cannot grab another one. If I let go this one, suddenly another one come in, I can't get hold again. When I let go of this one, then another one come in again. I always have the ego holding. That's why I cannot let go. But if I have ego, I hold it, I control it, don't let the ego grow. Then nothing come in, I cannot grab no more. I control the ego. Okay, that's called controlling. Understand that? That's why you mentioned mind and physical and two, uh, one pair, yin and yang. Your mental called mind, control. Physical is your exercise, your, your physical control. Two things have to work together. Without the mind control, the physical won't work too good. Without the physical motion, you cannot develop your mind either. They work together. Okay. But first thing, in the beginning level, let you develop all the motion. Even you don't know what's going on, develop the motion first. Okay. By the time you know the motion okay, then you start to understand why the motion do this way. Why the structure in the motion like that. Now you start to learn. You want to learn Wing Chun how to be a better person of yourself. That's why I tell people all the time, Wing Chun is selfish style. I want to learn Wing Chun for myself. I don't want to learn Wing Chun because I want to show you I'm good. I want to learn how to conduct to myself, uh, including uh, aware of my own life. That's what I'm doing. The Wing Chun fighting is not only one subject in Wing Chun system. You learn Wing Chun, you learn the system. The system involves everything. How to do, apply the principle in life. Those are main things to develop. If you focus on fighting, then you limit the other learning. You get to know, oh, I feel the vibration. Now, when you feel the vibration, you can control yourself. Like in stick hand, people can control vibration. Each time they do rolling, the body never move. You don't see very solid. You can see the motion very strong, boom, boom. The body don't move. Why? Because they can control the vibration. But if the one don't even know there's vibration there, the body will rock it, rock it, rock it. Okay? Because they cannot control the vibration. Okay, understand the point? Because you have to know your cell vibrating motion, then you can control it. The every motion you develop is based on natural. If you are a natural, that motion has some problem. Think about it. Yeah, but so if you relax like that, if you have incoming force and you, you feel your vibration, there's uh -huh. going to be a little give because no, you're, 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 there's a, your, your energy is, is pulsed, right? You're going. If you give, if you give like that, you give up your structure. People will hit you. I, the, the one I touch you now, I touch you, I'm not pushing you. I just give you some feeling. If you, I give you feeling that you give. That's, uh, no. because I ego like you up to the limitation, up to the point that you can secure a structure. I'm not pushing a structure. Okay, if you don't even know what is a limitation, when, as soon as the fall comes in, you give, you lose it. Then when you get to know up to the limitation, I can hold my structure. Then, then like that, okay. If I give you more force, then you can go with my force. It's not give. I go with your, my force. Okay. It's not give. If you give, you that mean you allow me to pop your balloon. Your pop, balloon's gone. Get a flat tire. Don't give. Or you can go with the force. You go along with the force. The force pulls you. You go. That means the balloon here. The balloon here. If I give forever, you shouldn't let you pop my balloon. Okay, if you, after the limitation, the balloon cannot absorb any more pressure. I turn my balloon. Then I deflect you. I go with the force. You fall coming here, I turn. You go with the force. 
Okay, I'm not giving up. I don't just come for coming, I compress like this. Then I sooner or later I can pop my balloon. Okay, don't do that. This is in development. Stick your hand. I learned how to secure my position doing rolling. I'm not gonna roll you force me, I don't do like this. I maintain him. Up to my limitation. The more you come in, the more I can turn you and go. I, I deflect your structure to get into you. I'm not collapse my structure for you to hit me. Don't misunderstand that. Give up your structure, okay? <laughs> well, because earlier you talked about the spring. Yeah. So the spring, spring is not give up. I hold the spring here. Don't worry, there's a swing. Yeah, I give up the position. I'm still here. I'm not moving back and forth. I'm not giving up my position. Okay, I go like this swinging, still in the position, I'm vibrating. I'm not vibrating this way. That means I'm keeping up. Understand so far? Huh? Half next week on that one. Talk what? Next week on this one. Okay, remind me. Ask me the question next week. If you don't understand it, write down your question when they ask me. We continue answer your question. Up to the point you can understand yourself. I can talk all day long, but <laughs> depending if you get observed or not. The best way to observe my saying is to learn how to ask me. Like we have a communication. I can, we have a like discussion. Then you will understand much better. If you just listen to me and don't say nothing, then you get lost somehow. Okay? The best way to learn is ask questions back and forth like that. I, I give you an answer, you give me another question, I give you an answer. Then you will be able to sing into your brain. Okay? And that's the way you learn. Also, that's the way I learn from you too. Because everybody will ask me the same subject but different questions. Then I will deal with all different questions, give you a different question, a different answer. That's why I'm learning how to deal with people. Okay. If you ask me, I'm thank you. Okay. If you listen to me, just don't say nothing, I won't say thanks. <laughs> Understand what I mean? Good. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.